right, what's up everybody? How's everybody doing? It's been a while, but I'm still here. And today's video is gonna be a rehouse and I'm showing you a pickup of the new tarantula. This is the Racky Pelma Bomi I just picked up. But before I get into the Bomi, I have some unfinished business over here to talk about because I never explained what I was gonna be replacing my my uh, my P. reductus with. And so I replaced it with a Kenyan Samboa. Pretty cool snake, you can't see it right now. It's where it's supposed to be down beneath the sand, but it pretty much looks like this. And so this little guy, I picked up on Craigslist also. He was free, somebody was getting rid of him, so I went to go pick him up. Decided to set it up like this for now, because he's still small yet. I put some repti bark up top so the sand can kind of stay below when he comes out, hopefully. Water just back there, a 40 watt bulb to keep it nice and toasty. It's doing real good, so here's some feeding shots. And now I'm not going to get into too much of the care of this guy. You can do your own research. They're pretty cool snakes. I like them a lot. I see the opportunity, and I jumped on it. Now back to the Bracky Puma Bomi. This girl here I picked up on Craigslist a couple days ago. I wasn't going to put a video up right away. But I decided I might as well. I gotta re I gotta get her into something different anyway. This is supposed to be a female. Of course, we'll see it when that time comes when she molts. And the woman I got her from told me that she actually just molted. So that'll be a little while from now. But if you can see by her abdomen, kind of small there. She just molted. And pretty soon I'll be getting videos of pumping her up. And now I'm gonna be rehousing her into another brat plast container i just picked this one up today it's the big the, the biggest one you can buy in the shop that i go to i got a piece of uh wood there to hide under now she asked me if i wanted her her uh, her substrate and i said yes she also gave me some leaves that i guess she was using I'm a little funny about the leaves because I, I rehoused a, one a couple a couple few months back and I put some leaves in it and they got all moldy so I never used them ever again. So the first thing I want to do since I'm doing this one handy is I want to get these leaves out of here. And I'm probably going to make a big mess doing this. There's a lot of substrate. I'm not even sure what kind of substrate this is. It looks... I don't know. She also said that this transfer likes to burrow a lot. So we'll see. Dump it in. Dump it in, dump it in. Oh, it's dusty. Really dusty. It's spread out a little bit. I was gonna put some tape to cover these holes, but I couldn't find the tape, so. And I didn't, I didn't feel like waiting either, so. I figured she's going in there today. A little high spot. Now I'm debating whether or not I wanted to use this container because it is kind of big. It is kind of big. This tarantula is small yet. And I bought this leaf a while back. I actually plan on using it with my uh, Caribbean Versa color, but you know, I don't think I need that suction cup there. Does that come off? Yes, it does come off. I just got to work it off. I'll be right back. This can sit down in there just like, like such. Get it filled up. Looks pretty good. Okay, now for the fun part, I got my little toothpick over here. Not my tooth. I would say toothpick. It's my uh, chopstick. We'll get this girl in here. Hopefully, she don't take off running. I've heard a lot of things about the Brachypelma bomi about th their being very skittish and being the transit that would run on you and take off on you. My other one was pretty chill though, but this one here, I did see her feet here. Today. There she goes. Let's see if I can get her to go that way and not up my arm. I want to put this down as far as I can like that. I got a view. Let's give it a little tap on the boop. Whoop. See, you guys know me. I'm a big punk when it comes to this. I love spiders, but I don't want to touch them. Don't touch me. Oh, there she goes. Nice. She kicked a little bit of hair there, but she's in. Take the camera, thank you, my daughter. 
There she is, as beautiful as can be. And like I said, when I picked her up, she was supposed to be a female, so we'll see. I hope she is. The woman uh, pretty much said that uh, where she bought it from, it was pretty much confirmed female. I guess she belonged to a few groups and posted some pictures of her own and of their abdomen, and everybody said, yes, it's a female, but we will see. But I think she'll be happy in here. Like I said, I'll debate whether or not this would be a little too big for her, but I think it's the perfect size. There's other ones that I rehoused in the containers like this, smaller ones, and I wish I put them in the bigger containers like this. Like I said, her abdomen is, abdomen, her abdomen is kind of small, which is okay. She's not like she's dying, but I definitely want to get her pumped up. So I guess I got a chance to accomplish two things in this, this video here, which was uh, rehouse a new beautiful tarantula that I'll be showing off pretty soon and also revealing what I had going on in here so subscribe definitely subscribe I will have videos coming I just been a little tied up lately but I have tons and tons of beautiful video that I took over the last few months and they will be displayed on this channel so stick around subscribe and uh, be ready for the next video so like I always say in my videos if you made this far through the video I definitely appreciate it. You're one of what if you made if you made this far through this video, you are one of my favorites, one of my favorite viewers, and uh, glad you stuck around. And I will see you next time. Peace.